Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a super budget smartphone from Xiaomi called the Redmi Go. This costs £54 uh, from Banggood. Banggood have kindly uh, sent me this smartphone. It's the first time they've ever sent me anything, so it's pretty cool. Um, so if you like Xiaomi devices, this is probably the cheapest device I've ever seen from uh, Xiaomi. It's uh, the global version as well. There are some of the specifications, five inch display, you know, nothing um, absolutely amazing, but you're not gonna get anything amazing for, for that price. Quad core CPU, Snapdragon 425, 3000 milliamp battery, eight megapixel rear and five megapixel front. So if you're a gamer, you're probably not gonna wanna purchase this phone. Although I'm not saying games won't run on it. Um, obviously we get better performance on other devices. So this is the black, Color. It also comes in a blue as well. So, although well, it does look like the back's separate from the frame, I believe that's actually molded all the way around the edge as well. So, on the side, volume rock up and down and power, 3.5mm socket microphone. You have two SIM trays. So you can have dual nano SIM and a micro SD card at the same time. Because um, obviously there's only eight gigabytes of storage on this device, so you're probably gonna need an SD card anyway. Um, micro USB speaker, and what looks to be a hole for a microphone there. Uh, yeah, on the back, rear view, rear camera and flashlight, and front facing camera there, turn it on. Operating system is Android Go. It has the Adreno 308. And it supports up to 128 gigabytes of um, micro SD card or external storage. And it's a five inch 16 by nine display. So let me set this up. Okay, here we go. We're all set up. Um, at the bottom there, you can see Recent apps, home button, and a back button. And they're not seen that in a while. There is an update available already, Android system update, which I'll update later on. So it's a five inch display, 720p. Uh, viewing angles are pretty decent. Let's see what, oh, let's see what apps and stuff we get in here. So me drop, um, I'm sure you get some Xiaomi stuff well, that's not too bad mint browser there I'm not entirely sure what that is but i'll be using chrome i won't be using any of that no pages that way i like that feature scroll down from there system update to android 8.1 that's not too bad Okay, so there's no fingerprint sensor on here. Also, there's no face ID unlocked. So it's just gonna be a, a pattern or a pin number that you that you set up. If I was buying a phone like this for myself, I'd the main thing is just performance and just navigating through the phone, browsing. I'd like browsing to be smooth and everything like that. Um, gaming, you're probably gonna be playing low intensive games on here. I'd imagine PUBG will struggle to play on this. Obviously, Fortnite and your Asphalt 9s will not be compatible. And next is the camera. Let's see for um, for a phone in this price range. Let's see how good the camera is. Let's take a picture of my little paint pot. There's quite a bit of uh, detail in that. So let's see what the Redmi Go picks up. Just going to use standards. So obviously, there's no bokeh effect in here. It's just video, photo, square, or manual. There we go. That is absolutely brilliant. I must say, obviously lighting conditions in here, in here are very good. I don't know if we've got auto rotation on that one. Oh yeah, auto rotate, there we go. Um, yeah, obviously lighting conditions in here are really, really good at the moment. Um, but 
for a £50 phone that is excellent quality. Now, let's switch to video mode, so this will be 720p. I can't imagine there's going to be any stabilisation. Um, oh, full HD video quality, 1080p. Okay. It, sh it can shoot at 1080 at 30 frames per second. That's good. Oh. This is where I think it might suffer a little bit. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're on the, the super budget phone, the Xiaomi Redmi Go. Testing the video quality and, of course, the audio quality. Pan around my desk. I see a new dash cam that I've got to review soon. Looks promising. Let me know what you guys think of the quality of the Redmi Go autofocus. Looks good there. Window. Okay, doesn't look bad. Camera there. There we go. Yeah, and again, that is, that is pretty damn good. I've seen worse on more expensive phones. Video. So I believe you can record 1080p video, front facing. Yep, 1080p. Let's have a look at the front facing camera then. Here we go. Front facing camera on the Xiaomi Redmi Go, a super budget smartphone. Oh, I look tired. Manchester United, getting on that badge. Like I said, lighting conditions are really good in this room, so I'm expecting it to suffer in low light. But that's it. Yeah, that was the camera test. From how it looked on the display, the camera looks pretty decent. Uh, it's a light phone. Obviously got a big chin and a big forehead. Um, relatively narrow bezels are there aside for a budget smartphone. But this is, yeah, this is it. This is the Redmi Go. There's a little bit of a mark there where that sticker was. So I'm sure I can buffer that off. Yeah. YouTube Go. A video out built for Android Go edition. Ah, okay. So you don't get the full fledged YouTube version. So. YouTube Go. Let's have a look. Okay. This is quite, this is obviously optimized for Android Go. Still signed in. Uh, geeky stuff. Okay. Let me select a video. Oh, you even get this on Android Go. I just chose to um, stream a video and you can choose standard, high quality or basic quality. I want to choose high quality. Play. This is my go-to video all the time. Should be on auto-rotate. There should be no need to pinch zoom because it's 1080p. Alright, okay, you can't. When normal YouTube, you press that to adjust the quality. It's already at high quality. Not bad. Still decent enough for a phone of this price. I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed indeed at the moment. Seems to be smooth as well. No jitteriness at all. Good.
pretty damn good that is. So this is the Red and Go. Um, quite impressed to be honest. It's only got one gigabyte of RAM, remember? Navigating. No sort of glitches or anything noticed yet. Calculate us open up a few of the onboard apps. The calendar might be Google, so that's going to be. Camera, open up pretty quick. File manager, phone, settings, phone, sound recorder. Okay. Tell you what, it's no slouch. Time will tell, obviously, over the next week or so while I'm uh, using it properly. Um, but at the moment, guys, a cracking little phone for, what, £54. It is on offer at the moment on Banggood. Links are in the description below um, if you want to purchase one. But if you just want a phone for basic, maybe basic games, a bit of browsing, texting, WhatsApp. And the camera looks pretty good as well, so impressed very impressed so that's it guys thank you for watching links are in the description below if you purchase it it does help my channel because it is affiliate links give the video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye, -bye.